Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we dive into the world of education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, and in today's episode, we'll explore the key insights from Chapter 3 of John Hattie's influential book, Visible Learning, from 2008. This chapter sheds light on the power of visible teaching and learning, and how it can lead to positive outcomes for students in our K-12 classrooms. So let's jump right in. In this chapter, Hattie emphasizes the significance of visible teaching and learning. It's about making the learning process explicit, challenging, and engaging. By doing so, teachers and students can work together to achieve remarkable results in education. Hattie introduces us to the three worlds of understanding, surface, deep, and constructed understanding. Surface understanding is all about acquiring basic knowledge and facts. Deep understanding goes a step further, allowing students to connect and apply this knowledge to new situations. Lastly, constructed or conceptual understanding empowers students to go beyond the given information and deduce general rules or proofs that apply universally. Hattie presents us with the SOLO model of student learning, which stands for Structure of the Observed Learning Outcome. This model recognizes four levels of understanding, factual knowledge, conceptual knowledge, procedural knowledge, and metacognitive knowledge. Think of it as a ladder of learning where students progress from acquiring basic facts to developing a deep understanding of concepts and ultimately becoming reflective thinkers. It's crucial to strike a balance between surface and deep understanding. While surface understanding provides students with a solid foundation, Deep understanding enables them to transfer their knowledge to new situations. Hattie reminds us that learning is a journey starting from ideas and gradually evolving into understanding and constructing new knowledge. This process involves self-regulation, where the students take ownership of their learning. Hattie emphasizes that achievement outcomes in education are influenced by various factors. These include the child, the home, the school, the curricula, the teacher, and the approaches to teaching. It's important to recognize that these factors often interact with one another. Furthermore, Hattie's research reveals that effective teaching practices and strategies tend to be consistent across subjects, age groups, and educational contexts. Hattie highlights the unique contributions the students bring to their learning journey, their prior knowledge, Expectations, engagement, and willingness to embrace new experiences play significant roles. Teachers can tap into these contributions by setting challenging goals and fostering a sense of confidence in their students. Positive expectations and goal setting can be powerful catalysts for student growth. Now let's dive deeper into the importance of visible teaching and learning. Visible learning occurs when the learning process is explicit appropriately challenging, and actively evaluated. It involves deliberate practice aimed at achieving mastery of the learning goals. Additionally, feedback plays a vital role in this process, with both teachers and students seeking feedback to enhance their understanding. When learning becomes an active, passionate, and engaging experience, the impact on student outcomes is profound. Hattie highlights a fascinating concept teachers becoming learners of their own teaching, and students becoming their own teachers. When teachers continuously reflect on their instructional practices, seeking ways to improve and adapt, they become powerful catalysts for student success. Similarly, when students take ownership of their learning, they become active participants, teaching themselves and others along the way. Teachers truly make a difference. Hattie emphasizes that the greatest source of variance in education system lies in the hands of teachers. Visible teaching and learning empowers teachers to provide high-quality education for all students, regardless of their backgrounds. It's through their dedication, passion, and commitment to continuous improvement that we can create transformative learning experiences. As we conclude this chapter, we're reminded of the immense power of visible teaching and learning. By making the learning process visible, setting challenging goals, and fostering engagement, 
Teachers can create educational environments while all students can thrive. Remember, what teachers do matters, and through visible teaching and learning, we can ensure that every student has access to a high-quality education. That wraps up our exploration of Chapter 3 of Visible Learning by John Hattie. I hope you found these insights valuable and inspiring. Join us next time as we delve into another fascinating chapter that explores the frontiers of education and learning. Until then, keep striving for visible learning in your classrooms, and thank you for tuning in to 5-Minute Chapters. Because sometimes even teachers need cliff notes.